I don't believe it. I think this is actually the Osmine I'm looking for. And the ice is melting. Hooray for global warming. Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of the Planet Crafter. And I'm just placing a couple more of these uh, veggie tube, tube tier twos down, so I can put these new uh, flowers I put in. So that one's doing 400%, and then we'll do a, another one. And we have the bio lab. I knew that was coming. It was fairly close. I don't think it really matters where I put these things. I'm just gonna put them wherever. Uh, also, too, uh, you probably saw that little intro there. Uh, it turns out there's actually cobalt there. I had no idea it was there because I couldn't see it. And uh, you can actually see the ice melting. It's actually been slowly shrinking. I don't know how much longer until I can reach it, but it's definitely getting there. Oh, yes. So, yeah, it starts melting. It doesn't give you an actual progress of how long it's melting. And I wonder if the cave even goes on. We will find out. Uh, but yeah, today I wanted to head off into that direction there. There's that ring I wanted to have a look at, but I thought I'd get a couple more of these down and utilize these plants that I have. Okay, I don't have the silicone for that anyways. So yeah, it's going to be the usual thing. I'm going to gather up some stuff for a little shelter and head over towards that where that ring is and explore that and see what it's all about. And we'll have liquid water by the time we get back. Maybe. Okay, I got everything I have just... Everything I needed, I'm just on my way, and I was stopping by the water collector here. You can sort of see, like, these little particles. That's kind of cool. Anyway, uh, I will be back. Oh, I forgot about fall damage. Fortunately, I didn't get hurt. But anyways, I'm going to go check out this ring, and we'll see what all, that's all about. Oh, yeah, I thought I'd have a quick look at what we need for the bio lab, and yes, we need osmium for that, and definitely the vital looks those crystals. That's what's in that cave, so uh, we should have some osmium by the time we get back. Anyway, back at her. Okay, here we are, and I think I saw this in someone else's video about this red cloud. Don't know what it is. I'm assuming that's an iridium area. Let's go have a look at this and see what this is all about. I see an entrance over here. I hope I'm not in a bad area. Kind of looks like it. Keeping an eye on my vitals. So far, I'm not having any issues. Hopefully, it's all going to be okay. And I heard a door open. So, uh, let me get shelter set up and I'll be right back. Okay, I looked around the area. Um, there wasn't too much in there. I expected more than the size of this thing. I didn't really find too much. Although, I did find one piece of silver and three microchips. So, we'll see what we get unlocked from those. Um, hmm. See if I, maybe I should have the room. I want to go check this thing out here. Uh, that uh, red cloud on the way back. See if it's uh, any potentially hazardous. Uh, yeah, it was right here. Uh, this may be a bad idea. We'll find out soon enough, won't we? Alright, what's going on here? Is this just like an atmospheric thing, or is this something actually serious? Yeah, sort of in uncharted territory right now. They're actually done exploring around here. And I don't want to explore too far. Oh, I guess I can. I do have water and food on me. Or, uh, oxygen. Take a quick peek around. Yeah, I don't know what's around here sure somebody knows, but I'll find out eventually. The problem with exploring is it's so easy to get lost, especially when you enjoy exploring. Because every corner is a new adventure. Let's go take a look up here. See if there's any type of caves or anything like that. Something that maybe suddenly irradiate me. doesn't look like it. I never figured out this jetpack too, it just basically keeps you on a hover mode at a certain altitude. And what do we have down here? A satellite. Ooh. 
Oh, hello, it's Christmas. Uh, take some super alloy, that's always handy. We'll get rid of the iron, we don't need that. Um, I'll take that, get rid of that. Anticlimactic, to be honest. Now, if these things would spawn regularly, they'd be pretty handy. And I don't see anything else, uh, no... No golden chest, so I guess I'll head back and I'll be back at the base. Okay, I'm back, so let's see what these blue chip blueprints have. Uh, again, that is the wrong thing. We go over here, and uh, and I remember that was actually a mail we're supposed to read. Agility boots tier three, GPS satellite tier two, and display case. Hey, uh, yeah, let's see what this mail was. A uh, planet craft is sent on the sent sent on the yeah, yeah, planet. If you receive this, it means you are never, you are near. Maybe you are a planet crafter as me, as well. Uh, the weather is atrocious, and I'm running out of resources. There's no, not enough on this screen, this barren world, to terraform it. I don't know what I why I choose this. Death would have been more pleasant than this hell. If anyone can help me, please do. Okay, I have no idea how I'm gonna help you. But anyways, uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, uh, let's have a look at that uh, bio lab, osmium. Let's actually see where the osmium is at. Let's see if I can access it yet. Almost there. Almost there. And by the looks of it, oh wow. Oh hello. Aha. Osmium. And sulfur. Hey, cool. Right in my own backyard. So we went exploring for nothing. Not really. Wow, this is crazy. I didn't realize caves were like this. Oh, cool. We're going to be unlocking lots of stuff today. Sweet. Please, no caving. That's all I care about. No caving. I was thinking about it too before I started recording. Uh, before I started recording again, that maybe we'll get into the mining upgrades. Uh, look at all that osmium. Nice. I'm gonna need more display cases. Anyway, uh, yeah. Let's see what the, we need for the mining chips. I don't know why tier four is back there. That is really getting violent. <laughs> I swear to God, my base is going to break off one of these days. Alright, uh, magnesium, silicone, aluminum, super alloy, super alloy, aluminum, and osmium, and super alloy. Because I know we get more osmium, I think I'll go ahead and make this, so give me one moment, I'll do that, and I'll probably get the... I won't be getting the agility do boots out of the way. Wow, it's like everybody's trying to hit my base today. I swear to God, try and knock it down. Okay, here we go. And a tier 4 mining chip. Now let's see, actually see how fast this mining really is. Uh, let's go find something to pick up off the ground. Uh, that's ice, that's not going to help. Let's try the iron. Oh wow, that is definitely faster. Cool. That is cool, I wonder if that's going to work the same with uh, dismantling the wreck, uh, part of the side of wrecks and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, what was next? It was going to be... Well, let's actually see how much osmium I have. I have two. I uh, was almost thinking about doing a GPS satellite, too, because we have the Tier 2. We'll take a qu quick look at the Tier 2 and see what we need for that. Uh, food level low. Space food. Nothing better. It's like mom. Well, like mom's cooking. Okay. Uh, two microchip compasses, three super alloys, and a rocket engine. I need two rocket engines, five super alloy, and three compass chips. Uh, let me see if I can put that together. Yeah, we have enough to do that. We also have enough for the tier 2 jetpack. So I just need uh, one super alloy, one aluminum. Run back over here. And jetpack off, and tier 2 jetpack. So this is supposed to be a lot faster. Somewhat faster. We'll find out in a minute. Alright, uh, so yeah, so I have enough for that and two more super alloy. Turns out I actually had iridium rods and I did actually have some spare iridium. So that is good. Uh, two super alloy. 
think I need more upstairs. I think I need three more, but we will find out. I need two rocket engines, two rocket engines, and three super alloy. We're gonna have to go mining again. It'll probably be an off-camera thing. All right. Now, what did we need else that I need? Oh, yeah, uh, three compass chips. So I'll do that and I'll be right back. Oh, by the way, we've reached liquid water. And apparently, slowly working our way up the lakes. Oh, good thing I moved my house. Okay, I got them. Now, before I go ahead and use them on a rocket, I actually want to see what these things do. Okay, just general compass. Okay, that's fine. As long as I got beacons, I'm okay. Uh, I don't think the world's crazy big, so I don't think we have to worry about getting lost. But, let's go up and, uh, check this rocket thing out. Oh yeah, we don't click on these ones, we click on the ladder. Yes. Alright. I made too much. I will use it for the other one. Uh, yeah, as you can see, this one here will uh, attract uranium asteroids, so we'll get more uranium on the surface. This one attracts iridium. So that's something we can always look at. Down the road, I might get one of each or multiples and have meteor showers all the time. And here is the big rocket that we get to hit the big red button for. I swear to God, it just moved on me. All right, off we go. Now when Dre launched his, he went down to the bottom to launch it. I'm gonna watch it go up from here. And that does GPS. Now all I have to do is make sure I have a mapping screen, which I should. If not, I do actually have a compass made for it. Uh, let's see here. Mapping screen. Silicon. Uh oh. <laughs> That's one resource as I'm actually one resource I'm actually low on right now is silicon. Completely out, so I had to come out here and try to find something that I haven't picked up yet. So I uh, off camera resourcing is always a thing. Okay, where is it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh wow, that is fast. Look at that. Oh, perfect. Alright, so uh, Almost feel like Buzz Lightyear to infinity and beyond. Anyway. Faster jetpack, faster mining, faster terraformation. I think I might be doing something right for a change. So in fact, I'm about to die of, de die of dehydration. Uh, what did I need that for? Oh yeah, the mapping screen. Um, I got extra water, I'm gonna drink that. And then we go over here, we build a mapping screen. The right way so I can actually see it. And there. So now, that's what I see. And I guess if I launch a rocket over here, it'll get me another screen on that side, or if it's just this one. Can't really see too much. You can see this ship over here. You can see where the place used to be. The aluminum area. And you'd expect more to explore out of that than just that. Anyway, uh, what do I have left for Osmium 1? Uh, let's go see what's available here. Do I want to possibly look at that bio lab if I can? Uh, that hasn't quite completely been cleared out, but let's, let's go have a look. See if we can get any further in here. If not, maybe we'll go check out another cave. Maybe that's what we'll do. There's another cave just over here. Oh, hello. Just what I was looking for. Alright, what do I need for this thing? Three super alloy and aluminum. I think I have them. Do I? No, I don't. And I can't even make super alloy. So, uh, let me go grab some resources and I shall return. Okay, I'm back and it is raining like you wouldn't believe. It's actually dying off here, which is actually amazing. It was raining so hard, I was actually wondering if it was going to start flooding down here. It doesn't look like it. Oh. Oh. I see water. Oh, we have to go down there. By the way, this jetpack's awesome. I love it. Look at that. We actually have pooled water. Right. Uh, you 
get a little closer. Uh, I do need to have some of the drink. Oh, no splashing sound. Oh, I thought it was actually going up, but it's sort of like a tidal effect, so there's it's definitely some sort of water table. Anyway, I'll meet you back at the top. Okay, so I got everything ready for the biodome. It's definitely raining quite a bit. It's actually quite noisy. Uh, doesn't seem to have really stayed. It seems to have, seems to have uh, subsided into the, to the ground and the rain stopping. Perfect. Alright, uh, so let's get the biodome and I think the biodome should be able to branch off of here. Like so. And then we can do this and... I'm out of power, of course. Cool. Let's actually see what I'm short on power. It's all quiet. Rain stopped, power stopped, generators stopped, everything stopped. Uh, Alright, a few more solar panels. I'll get that taken care of and I'll be re Okay, three more solar panels in the mix. I was thinking about I might actually start launching off those other two rockets. One for the iridium, one for the uranium, so we can get the resources a little more abundantly. And I uh, might have to go to a uranium reactor. But anyways, let's check this place out. Besides the fact that it looks like it's some sort of uh, genetic manipulation station. Oh, here we go. Mutagen. Huh, interesting. So there's exp explosive powder, so I need two sulfur and one iridium. Uh, there's a fertilizer. I need fertilizer. Oh, that's tier two fertilizer. Methane car cartridge. Where, where did we get that from? I have no idea. Uh, fertilizer, eggplant. Okay, interesting. Cool, so we actually need to use the things that we're producing. Now, the algae, I believe, comes from another station here. Yeah, the algae generator. Al tier 2. Where's the tier 1? Hmm. It, I, that is interesting. Where is... Uh, Uh, no idea. Uh, anyway, uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, let's, uh, I guess let's do those agility boots. May as well. Been on a streak of upgrades. Might as well keep it going. Okay, agility boots. Tier 3. Super alloys and one explosive powder. And I believe that was two sulfur and one iridium. One, two. And iridium. Take one of those. Run all the way back over here. Might have to set up a shortcut for this. But then I don't expect to be making this stuff all the time. Explosive powder. Very interesting. Alright, now we run all the way back over here and should be able to make our... No. <laughs> I thought I saw a couple of briefcases on the floor. Don't ask me why, but I thought I did. Alright, uh... Tier 3, what? Oh, oh yeah, okay. Yeah. I thought I had tier 4 for some reason. Alright. I know I noticed absolutely zero difference. Anyway, uh, what else can we build? Uh, we'll fire off some more rockets. Let's go see what we need. Have they got that engine, actually? No, oh, that's still melting. Uh, what I probably should do... So kind of making some of the heat, some of these. They actually generate quite a bit of heat. Uh, let's see if I have any iridium. Iridium or iridium rods. I have enough for one. Uh, hmm. Sure, let's do that. Before that, I'm gonna go check and see what I need for the rocket. All right, we just need cobalt. What was that? Cobalt, super, super alloy, and silicon for both the rockets. Uh, so in here, I want to make an iridium rod. And then I run back over here. Nope. Oh, actually, I can make it right here. Oh, this is an inside thing. Cool. Put it over here where the rest of the noise is being made. Let's see if we can get this. Sneak this right in the corner. Right. There. Oh, wow. That thing's in harmony. 
I can go down here where it's nice, where it's not gonna bother me. All right, how are we doing for heat? Well, the heat's starting to go up pretty good. Uh, biomass is slow producing pressure. Pressure is the drills. Uh, oh yeah, we were gonna fire off some rockets. Let me get some stuff together and we'll do that. Okay, so I have enough for one rocket. Uh, I'm actually short on iridium, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna launch uh, the rocket for iridium asteroids so we can get more iridium so we can launch more asteroids. Or launch more rockets. That would be this one here. Uh, and gives global heat bonus, which I'm missing cobalt for. As I was saying, we'll increase the heat and also help unlock things like the tier 4 drill and, um, what is that? Oh yeah, there's a tier 2 biodome, we get the algae generator and all that stuff. So, rocket number 2. Oh, I missed the button. Like that ding, ding, ding. It takes off. Wait for me! I almost fell off the platform there. Now, I don't know what this means by attracting more asteroids. Very ominous that a storm bolt <laughs> just to launch that thing. Oh, jeez. Didn't realize I was going to be right away. Let's get inside here before something happens. Yeah, that was kind of spontaneous. God, I swear to God, I was actually seeing shadows of them going down, too. I can't see. Let's go up on the roof. Why not? Here they come. Missed. These are big asteroids. Like, look at the size of these things. That one missed. No, these ones are all coming from the same direction, too, this time. I have a feeling that's it. Let's go check it out. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Oh, hey, look. Shiny green rock. I was supposed to bring it. I wasn't supposed to bring uranium, though. I was supposed to bring iridium. The red rocks. This is not. Uh, did I choose the wrong one? I could have sworn I chose iridium. Oh, at least we got uranium now. I don't know if this stuff is going to despawn or not. Oh, it's cobalt. I was going to say, oh, hey, that's all cobalt. And I meant to say osmium, but it wasn't in the osmium. It was it's cobalt. Well, this is kind of depressing. I didn't get what I ordered. I wonder if I can get a refund on that rocket. Mainly the iridium rod. Yeah, it's all uranium. It was supposed to be iridium, not uranium. Alright, uh, let me clean up and I'll go have a look and see if I fired off the right, ro right rocket. Well, that's interesting. I think this is where I put the miner. And if you look in the top right, we're going to be getting that back new backpack soon. But yeah, I was looking at this. I was looking at the green glow. I was like, where's the rock? And it's like, oh, it's a big chunk of rock. So I guess that's where the ore extractor goes. Good. I almost have enough uranium for a rod. I might actually have to start building that reactor. Hey, we got nice clean water. Should check this out quickly. Oh, these little splashing sounds. And I get an achievement. We got a new backpack. Alright, well, uh, let me look around here a little bit and then uh, I'll bring you back and see where we go from here. Okay, that was my bed. I did actually launch that wrong rocket. So I'm thinking about it. We might have some time. Maybe I'll go quickly grab up the, some iridium, and we'll do that when I end the episode. Okay, I have everything ready. I went and grabbed some more uh, iridium. Uh, it's raining pretty heavy right now, so I think we'll go inside and we'll look at that tier five battle hack right now. Uh, the next thing is going to be over there. We got a long way to go over the lakes. Uh, everything's chugging along. And it's gotten extremely laggy, I don't know why. Oop, what did I walk into? Like that. I'm gonna say it's the rain. 
I mean, the fact that we're fighting the whole world right now. Uh, why did I come in here? Why did I come in here? I can't remember what I was doing. Oh, yeah. Backpack, which is over here. Uh, tier 5 is a 3 super alloy. I think I can actually manage that. Uh, let me see if I can. Okay, I came back to, to the cave to get some uh, more aluminum. And I did notice that this chunk of ice had melted. I couldn't remember what was actually here, but if we go in here, it almost looks like it's going to be an area for uranium. At least that's, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, looks kind of dangerous, but let's venture in. Let's quickly see what happens. I think we're okay. Well, not we. I think I'm okay, because it's just me here. Ooh, and sulfur. Oh, maybe this is a sulfur area. Nice. Kind of makes sense with the clouds everywhere. Anyway, I thought I'd just show you that. I don't want to explore this too much. Now, I have a feeling I don't know where this is. I think this is behind uh, that one big wreck that was over there. But anyway, that came for aluminum. I will return. Okay, I'm back. So I have enough for the new backpack. So I'm going to put these seeds away. I go over here and uh, take my backpack off first. Okay, good. I wasn't sure what I was going to have. Wasn't sure if I was gonna have the room for it. Alright, and tier five. Oh. Is that actually bigger? I'm gonna just say it is and assume it is and pretty glad that I actually have it. Alright, so now for that that rocket now. Oh, I can't remember if it was titanium or aluminum, but uh or Oh wait, no, I actually have that. Uh, so yeah, two titanium and uh, three silicone, and I need more silicone, so I'll go grab that and I'll meet at the top. Okay, I have it. So, let's go ahead and launch the this one here, which is going to increase our pressure, and get some more iridium. Go ahead and quickly craft that up, and launch. The next time I do this, I might have to see if I can launch before it's even finished building. And this one's going this way. And, of course, right away, we're going to be getting these rocks falling, and they're going to be trying to pummel us. I like how it's, like, instantaneous. You can actually see them coming in right now. Now, I, there should be iridium, because I don't have anything else to make the uranium one. So, let's go and uh, see what we got down here. By the way, the big chunk disappeared, so I don't know what happened to it. Probably not the smartest thing to do, but... Why not? Let's go check it out. Meteors don't hit the same, sp same spot twice, do they? I don't think they do. Is there really nothing in here? Oh, there it is. So, we got a little bit. So, I'm gonna grab what I can. Hopefully, I survive, and I will see you shortly. Well, I gotta see. The water's definitely been going up. My base was right there. I moved just in time. I was trying to find these rocks too. They all lined over here. And there was that big chunk that I saw. And that one disappeared. Like that big chunk of uranium. So I don't know what happened to that. Maybe, maybe it despawned. Maybe it was just supposed to be like a cosmetic thing. Like the core of the meteor. Like this thing here. There's not much I can actually do about it. I think... I thought I was supposed to put an ore extractor on it, but that is not the case. But anyways, uh, let me see if we can find more of this iridium and then I'll meet you back at the base. Okay, I'm back and I've managed to find uh, about 20 pieces. There's a few little uh, chunks that are still laying around underneath the rocks and stuff like that I couldn't find. Uh, it looks like the stuff is going to stick around. There's still uranium from the last drop. But let's see how we are doing on everything. Everything is doing pretty good. We're seen higher numbers than I've ever seen before, but that is fine. Well, actually, that's good. That's really good. Uh, as far as unlocks go, uh, we do have Lake Water Collector. What is this? Okay, so this produces, gets us more water. So that's good. Interesting. Uh, heater tier 4 at 63 part PPB, and we're at 4.7, so we got to generate a lot more oxygen, which probably means... Uh, a couple more biodomes or a biodome tier 2, which needs more heat. A lot more heat. And we get this at tier. Uh, 
that two, whatever that is, that thing there. I don't know. And then uh, nuclear reactor, of course. Uh, we're actually unlocking that soon, but we haven't even built the first one, so we might end up doing that first. But as far as that goes, I think uh, next episode we're gonna probably get some more things like heaters and stuff like that, and try to pr improve the terraformation process. No new males, and nothing's changed on the map. Except that our base actually does change. You can sort of see the grass there. So that's kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, for that uh, raided area that was like right behind here where the sulfur and stuff. So there might be might be some wreckages. I don't know. But until then, I thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.